such solemn stillness, such serene solitude, these snows of the south, the skies could seem so silent and serene if one were to stand still and let the snow settle on them. But these moments never lasted long, no longer than it took for the cold to sink in. Then you would have to move again, and once more the sound of your own footsteps followed you, pursued you deeper into the dim domain, here at the end of the world, south, south. It was always south they sought, south of the cities, south of the seas, south of the settlers and the spies of the societies they signified. South they sought and so south they sojourned, through the thickest of forests and over the precipitous of peaks, south and south and farther south than that, where the light died and the only way to see in dimness of the day was from the reflection from freshly fallen snow, where light left, white winter took hold and the cold captured from the clouds served only as another sign that they were still headed south. They were nearing the end now, the end of any sustenance or shelter, the end of the setting sun, the end of the world and all they held dear. They had sought south and so it had come, its cold concealment giving little comfort. This was a world without life, without consolation, and it was here, beyond the borders of the settled and the civilized. They sought sanctuary from the searchers. It was here they sought peace from persecution.